Hi and welcome to day 20 of my 21 day yoga challenge. Today we are going to focus on inversions. So you will need a wall because unless you are uh, good at that, I mean good at inversions, but we will use a wall just because um, I will be giving tips that will help you get to inversions with time and how to practice towards towards um, being able to balance on your head someday. So get that wall, get your mat and um, let's do the yoga. Let's begin on a seated position and warm up our wrists by rolling them around. Stretch them by pulling the fingers towards you and also the other way. Also, by flapping the fingers to your palms will help your wrists get stronger. Roll them around. And come on top of your mat. Sun Salutation A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, jump into a plank. Inhale, push up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Hold for five breaths. Inhale, jump forward, exhale, flat back, inhale, forward fold, and come back up, and find your way to a downward dog. We'll do scissor jumps here to wake up the legs, so have your fingers spread wide on your mat to build a stronger foundation, and jump your right leg up, and let it come down when the left leg rises up. Repeat this a few times. Now let's do downward dog in headstand preparation positions. Come onto your knees. Interlace your fingers and form a tiny cup with your hands and place the crown of your head inside your hands. Elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Extend your legs. Let's breathe here for a while. You can try to walk your legs closer to your waist or just stay here. Come out of the pose and come into a dolphin pose. Building stronger arms. Come out of the pose and form a tripod pose with your head and arms. Breathe. All these are sample foundations on your handstand or headstand. Come out of the pose and find your way into a plank for a few breaths. Engaging your core, which is important in handstands and headstands. Let's experiment and go next to a wall and try the headstand here. Form the same foundation that we just did by interlacing your fingers and jump into a headstand. 
Trying to stay in this one for five minutes on daily basis is one way to practice it and build your durability in it. Don't forget to breathe. Come back down and try the tripod version as well. See how your balance and muscles feel different next to a wall and on your mat and in different poses. You are very likely using a whole new group of muscles, so just experiment here for now. And come rest in a child's pose for a few breaths. Staying in all these variations of headstands we just tried is going to feel hard at first, but it's important to practice building the focus and foundation of your neck, head, and arms first and eventually you will have more strength and stability in this built foundation. Often there seems to be a rush to get up into a headstand and the focus is lost. So first build your foundation and mind stronger. Come out of the child's pose and let's practice a handstand. Go stand next to a wall, lift your leg up against the wall and measure that you have 90 degree angle and a straight line with your leg and the wall. Now turn around and start walking your legs up the wall and lower them down where you just measure that 90 degree angle. Building the foundation here. Lift your leg or both up if you like or just stay here. Look forward to keep your balance. Come out of the pose. Trying to stay in all these poses and experimenting with them is good practice before you actually hop into a headstand. Let's do a dolphin pose once more. Remember the breathe here. And come rest in a child's pose, taking deep breaths here. Come back to dolphin pose and lift your right leg up with an inhale, exhale back down, inhale left leg up, exhale down and repeat a few times. Come back to child's pose. Rest here as long as you'd like. Come out of the pose, breathe, and we are ready. So tomorrow is going to be the last day, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss tomorrow's video.